welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at escaping from a top rope soloing system. A top rope soloing system is where you have an anchor established at the top and you have fixed or attached your rope to it, to it so you have a single strand of rope coming down to you and you're climbing up and down without a belayer but you're using devices uh, that will catch you in the event you fall. We're not going to be talking about the system for setting up rope soloing today. You can take a look at our other video for that. But this video we're going to look at what happens if you're climbing and you get to a point on the climb where you're, you're too tired or the climb is too difficult and you need to come out of the system and then rappel to the ground to rest or retrieve the rest of your gear. So let's take a look at what we've got with us today to make that happen. So the first thing to point out here is on the left, this is my rope soloing system over here. These are the tools I'll be using. Um, I have a chest harness just made out of a Dyneema runner. The chest harness I'm not loading, so it doesn't need to, be, need to be that comfortable. Its purpose is simply to keep my device sliding up. This is a quick draw that's to fill up the distance between my chest harness and my primary device, which in this case is the camp lift. And then my backup device is the old Petzl mini traction. I also sometimes use a micro traction for this, but this is the device I grabbed today. We'll be talking very little about these devices today. What we'll be talking mostly about are these three tools. I'm going to use some kind of assisted braking device. This could be a Gree Gree, um, could be the old Trango Cinch or the new version of the Cinch. In this case, I just have a birdie out with me today. And I have a friction hitch. This is the same length friction hitch you might use for backing up a, a rappel, or sometimes it's called a third hand. This could also be a hollow block. And then I find this actually a very useful piece of the equipment. Um, this is the Connect Adjust by Petzl, and that's gonna make it much more comfortable for our escape system today. With our escape system, we're gonna make a couple assumptions that are pretty reasonable to make if you're rope soloing in order to reduce the complexity of the solution for getting out uh, from a loaded system. The assumptions we're gonna make are, I might be tired, but I can rest, and after some rest, I can stand up and unload my devices, okay? Um, and that's gonna allow uh, me to use a non-releasable system to get out. And you'll see that will make this much, much easier than if I need to stand up in a foot loop, like you'll see some systems involve the use of a foot loop, standing up, grabbing a hold and balancing and locking off. And it's also gonna be a lot easier than setting up what's sometimes called a technical ledge, where there's a rope grab, a piece of material coming down and a muncher mule overhand or some other type of releasable underload system. We're gonna just keep it to these devices and hopefully you'll be able to see how to do this and be able to do it with minimal resources. Let's take a look what it looks like on the wall. Okay, so here I am, I've gotten to a point in my climb and incidentally, we're just using a crag that doesn't get climbed very much. So it's a little bit of fake setup. But I've gotten to a point in my climb where I can't continue any further. I'm tired, or the climbing is too difficult for my ability in any number of cases and um, I can't reach the anchor. If I could reach the anchor, I just get there, I clip in with my personal anchor, whatever I'm using as a personal anchor, it could be a double link sling. I stand up, I'm safe because I've clipped in and I take the devices off. In this case, I can't unload the system. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my brake assisted device. So again, Gree Gree is the most popular version of that. I'm just using the Edelrid Birdie here. And I'm gonna place that below both of my devices. That's the system I'm going to transfer onto and rappel to the ground onto. So I'm gonna put that in place first. Right. So I made sure I checked it's working. Now I'm gonna tie a backup knot. A backup knot in this case is simply an overhand on a bite. And if I loaded the device incorrectly, that will jam into this brake assisted device and stop everything. So I'm completely safe. If I wasn't comfortable with just a backup jamming nut, I could clip that into myself with a locking carabiner as well. And that'd be great too. But I feel pretty good with this. Now I need to find a way to unload my top device. Before I do that, since my middle device is loose, I'm just gonna get that out of the system right now. So I don't have to do it later and it's gonna be a little easier to work with. Make things a little cleaner for me, okay? So that's already out and removed. And I have another device in there. So again, I'm backed up through this whole thing. 
And now I'm gonna use a friction hinge. I'm gonna put that above this device. And the idea is once that friction hitch is placed, I'm going to transfer the load onto it so everything below that friction hitch is gonna go slack, which means I can remove this device then. You can use the friction hitch of your choice here. I'm gonna use an auto block because it's just easy to apply. And as long as you use enough wraps, it tends to hold hard enough that it's not gonna slip under load. Now I find my connect adjust, All right? If I didn't already have a carabiner attached here, I could just clip this through the friction hitch. I already have a carabiner on there, so I'm just gonna use this kind of like a master point, and I'm gonna clip my connect adjust through that. Okay, it's clipped in. Now I'm gonna slide this up, just like so. Okay, make sure that hitch is engaged well. And now I just need to stand up, and while I stand up, Right, I could find any of the small edges on this rock because I was just climbing this rock, so theoretically I should be able to stand up on it again. If I can't, I can also grab this rope and heave ho down on it and pull up on my connect adjust. If I do that twice, you'll see now that rope below is slack. Below that, I'm backed up on my device so I can sit comfortably while I remove my primary device here, in this case, my camp lift. So I can pop that out of the system. Make sure I don't drop it as I open it, which is a lot easier to do when I'm sitting like this. Okay, pull that up. Now I'm gonna take this device and pull that up so it's snug. Leave the backup not in, in case I loaded it in properly. And I'm gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna stand up, grab that friction hitch and slide it down. And now you can see I'm on my device. So I can unclip from my hitch. Stow my tether, stow my hitch. Okay. And I'm all set up for rappel. I can take out that backup knot and then down I go.